Hey guys, I just wanted to show off my new um, home network setup. I had some videos up on YouTube before. I took them down because I didn't want to be linking to um, my old blog, which I'm uh, I'm actually rebuilding a new blog. I bought a domain. Um, and yeah, there's a reason I'm setting all this stuff up in my room is because I'm going to start hosting domains for people uh, to save them money from paying for you know, hosting for 10 bucks for a site or something. So I'm going to have a system where they can just... Um, do the domain here and I'll do it for free for my friends. So this is my new network setup. Um, I have an IKEA rack here, uh, which I used to have my clothes on, but I put all this stuff out here. I put everything in my room because I'm going to um, lock my room, uh, bring the webcams I have in here for security purposes. So this should be fairly safe. So I got my IKEA rack. Um, I got two UPSs on the bottom giving a battery backup and uh, in case of you know, spikes in power or anything, everything's safe and they'll stay online. Um, I, I have my desktop and my um, two uh, monitors not on battery backup. They're just surge protected. So in case of a power event, those would shut down and the servers would stay online. So I don't really care about my desktop staying online. It doesn't matter. Um, so I got my two batteries. I just move up to here and I have coax coming in from the wall and I got my surfboard 6120. Um, it's a Doxus 3.0 modem. I'm actually getting, um, at good times, right now, uh, I'm getting 100 megabits down, which is really good. And 5 megabits up, uh, ping is a minimum of 11, Do I get, you know, 11 to 13 milliseconds. So I'm getting um, coax into here, Ethernet going into my router. And this is one of those things I'm going to show later. This is a PFSense router that I built, uh, hand-built each part. Or, hand built it, you know, uh, made it from parts. Um, this thing is so awesome. Uh, yeah, it, it has some really uh, nice hardware and um, it's really helping my network increase performance. That goes back into my switch, which goes um, throughout the house, as you can see, uh, come, coming out of the switch and also to these devices. So that goes out to my future web server, which actually isn't plugged in right now. Um, I need hard drives for this thing, so. This is going to be an Ubuntu web server. Uh, I'm already running one now, but it's on really crappy hardware. Like, it's on an Atom um, N270. It's a netbook that I hacked together as a mod as a web server. But this is actually on a um, E350 motherboard, uh, the new AMD ones that are super low power, though faster than the, the fastest Atoms. So, yeah, that's um, this case is cool, really cool because it was 40 bucks. came with a power supply and has a full um, PCI slot thing so I can get, uh, I think I'm going to put a webcam server or I mean I'm, I think I'm going to make a webcam server out of this too and I'm going to put a um, analog webcam card so I can get like four to eight webcams out of that thing um, yeah so put that back so I just need um, hard drives for this I'm going to get two redundant 250 gig hard drives uh, I actually, actually already have them I just have to go and get them at um, my other house, my uh, regular ha regular house. I'm, I'm in college right now, so this is just living with a bunch of roommates. So that's the web server. It's running. Uh, it's going to be running Ubuntu. Um, might run Debian. We'll see. Uh, probably one of the two. And then we go to my NAS. Um, this is running FreeNAS. Um, it's a huge server case, which is awesome because... There's a bunch of hard drives in the front. Uh, I have like five hard drives and then one SSD in here. And um, it's not booting off the SSD. It's actually booting off a USB stick in there as well. So I have a bunch of different storage things in there. And um, But the, the, the motherboard is actually only a micro ATX. I'll actually show the insides of this. And I'll also show how to build this as well as the web server as well as the PFSense box. Maybe show how to what I'm doing on my desktop as well. So I'm going to show the hardware and the software for each thing and exactly how to build it on my blog, uh, which I'm going to build on here. So, yeah, this is the um, free NAS box. This is doing a bunch of functions for my house, uh, storing movies and um, media, as well as downloading stuff um, automatically. I'll show all that, all that stuff. I know you guys are really interested in um, using, utilizing Usenet. Um, avoid the chance of getting caught on torrents and you get your TV for free and everything. So that's uh, my free NAS box. 
move, move up to here. This is my desktop, which I use for um, you know doing homework and uh, browsing. And I also reboot it, and it goes into Bitcoin mining. So I'm going to show how to set up the Bitcoin miner on here. So I have a second partition on this hard drive, which um, that's the main partition it boots to, and it uh, just mines Bitcoin. So when I go to sleep or when I'm not using my desktop, I reboot this thing. It gets really loud because the fans go, you know, 70% of their max, and it just mines bitcoins and makes me a little bit of money. So it's my desktop right there. It's hooked up. Got the setup here. Got the uh, got Ubuntu running on here for the main the main drive. This isn't the Bitcoin mining one partition. They're both Ubuntu actually, um, but this is what I do work in. I'm actually thinking of putting OSX on here. Uh, my my roommate showed me how to get OSX on that motherboard. Uh, really easily, but I don't know. We'll see. Mm, Ubuntu is fine with me. I don't really care. Uh, yeah, let's do a speed test. We've actually gotten faster speeds lately, which I'm excited about. I think Charter is upping their speeds in this area. All right, let's see what I get. 11 millisecond ping. That's really good. Getting about 80 to 90 down which is awesome. We actually only pay for 60, but I think they're upping the speeds to 100 because I've seen up to 98 before. So yeah, so that came out at 88, if you can't see there. 88 megabits per second down, and I get about 5 megabits per second up. So um, speeds are awesome in my area. Really wish we had uh, fi um, fiber optics so I could get a better upload, but because that, might, that might help when I'm serving um, web pages, but... Yeah, um, that is my home network setup. There are going to be some changes to this room, so I will show the updates to this room. Uh, I already have them planned. I'm going to put a lock on the door. I'm going to put a real chair here instead of that medicine or that uh, Swiss ball. Um, I'm going to get my webcams in here. They're actually on a different part of my house. Um, so I'm going to get the webcams in here so I can watch this place when I'm not here and make sure no one comes in here. <laughs> And for security purposes, I'm going to have one out in the hallway and one just watching the equipment. So increasing security, increasing redundancy, and uh, increasing performance. And um, yeah, that is my home network setup. I hope you enjoyed it. Check back here you know, uh, every once in a while, and I will show videos on how to build those things and have tutorials on how to build them, buy the parts and everything um, fairly cheaply, and get good performance out of it. Yeah, I hope you enjoyed this video, and see you guys later.